Berkeley student says she was randomly punched in the face by a complete stranger. Yeah, this happened while she was walking on Mass Ave, a street full of other students and pedestrians. WBZ's Christina Hager's live in Boston. Christina, the school is now trying to get the word out about this. Yeah, Lisa, this is where this happened. It's a bustling spot, the Berkeley College of Music campus police right down the street here. And now they are looking for the man in a black hooded sweatshirt who walked up to a woman, knocked her onto the sidewalk here, and then ran across Mass Ave toward the Pru. Berkeley College of Music. A student walks out of this campus building and the police call tells the story. The victim exited 170 Massachusetts Avenue and the suspect uh, randomly struck her in the face. It was the day before graduation. Surveillance shows Mass Ave busy at 124 in the afternoon when that student asked a stranger, do I know you? And he punched her. In broad daylight, you wouldn't expect that. I would never uh, expect that around here. The police report says when Boston officers arrived, the woman was visibly distraught and had a clear swelling and redness on the right side of her face near her eye. She said the man hit her face with a closed fist punch, causing her to fall and strike the back of her head. We should be able to be safe where we're at. There are cameras on the building. A Berkeley spokesperson says the school sent footage of the incident to Boston police. Berkeley police now walking the block and sending students this alert to be on the lookout. I'm usually up and down Mass Ave all the time. Definitely yeah. the buddy system. Carry, yeah, that's us right now. Um, yeah. <laughs> carry yeah. my keys, like sometimes in my yeah. hands when I'm walking outside. I can't imagine that happening like during the day when there's a bunch of people here, but it does. You know what I mean? It's crazy. This is not the only city where this type of random attack has happened. Coming up at 6 o'clock, we'll look at why some here are concerned this could be part of a national trend. For now, we're live in the Back Bay. Christina Hager, WBZ News. All right, Christina, thank you.